Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine readings for the Twin Flame journey. And we'll begin. So just keep in mind that this is a general reading. And let's see what messages come through. So in this reading, there is a divine masculine who is tired of being um, being sad, tired of things not um, not changing. Like um, it feels like I'm tired of the same old, same old. I want something to change in my life. I want there to be a shift. And I see here that this divine masculine has chosen to start a new beginning. Um, they they are not going to like procrastinate. They are not going to like, okay, maybe I might do this and then put this aside for now. Um, I just see that because he is t so tired of his current way of living, he's like, I need to make a move. I need to make a change. Um, it's something that's constantly on this divine masculine's mind at this time. So for whoever this resonates for, this is somebody who really wants to move forward, who wants to make a change. I see here that there is going to be actual movement. So it's not just thinking about wanting the change, but there is action attached to um, to whatever they are planning to do. Okay, um, I see another thing here about learning the lessons from the past, um, past mistakes, things that didn't work out. Um, there was something about the masculine uh, really needing to go within and and recognizing the things within them that needed to be worked on. So it could be like habits, uh, things that they were not fully aware that were kind of like sabotaging themselves from further progression. Um, I see something about mistakes relating to um, relationships, mistakes uh, relating to the way they handle things, the way they express their emotions, something about expression, expressing their um, emotions, like holding back um, what they gave and something about not um, really feeling feeling um, the emotions the way they're supposed to feel. It's like not openly um, expressing um, what they felt at that time. So I feel like they hesitated to express love, okay? Um, another thing I see here is that they didn't have the strength within them in the past to to express their feelings to the Divine Feminine. They they held back even if they felt something they held their their feelings back so again it goes back to going within and and seeing how how certain pan, patterns played out in past of uh, relationships um i see another thing here about this divine masculine recognizing that what he always dreamt of what he always prayed for was um was always with him something that he desired something that he always prayed for in a in a partner in a companion um they didn't they overlooked it like they didn't see what they had in front of them now they're recognizing that divine feminine was the answers to their prayers i see here that there's a connection between the divine masculine his prayers, what he gave, gave out. I feel like um, what he put out into, um, into. Um, I feel like 
his energy, what he was trying to manifest, what he was trying to um, ask for. He didn't recognize what he was praying for when Divine Feminine appeared before him. I feel like um, he was distracted by what he felt, the confusion of his feelings, his emotions, because he was not open to expressing love, not open to feeling the love, receiving love. And so when Divine Feminine appeared before him, it was too early for his, um, let's just say for his, um, his uh, dream, his, his heart's desire to come true. Like, but I feel that it had a purpose. It was to show him um, the Divine Feminine to learn the lessons that he needed to learn along the way. That was part of his um, journey so that he can awaken. That's for his spiritual growth. It's like he was given a glimpse of what his future future uh, looks like, what his um, divine counterpart looks like, right? What that uh, connection looks like and feels like. He was given kind of like um, a little preview to his um future union so meeting the divine feminine was just like kind of like the divine introducing the divine masculine to divine feminine but he was not ready for it at that time i see here that now because he is tired of the same old same old recycle um cycle um it has to do with being stuck in that um that it feels like a um, loop. The divine masculine got tired of that energy. And he's like, I want to move forward. I know I need to make a change. And I see here that he's learned a lot. He has went within. He's removed um, different different parts that needed to be cleared out. And I feel like change, change is a huge, huge thing here. Changing habits. Removing habits and changing habits, changing something from negative to something into positive. Another thing um, that, that um, has to do with the Divine Masculine is stepping into their role, stepping into their their position. Like they are being kind of like guided to maneuver in a way where they are where they're supposed to be at because there was a delay there would there's some place in this divine masculine's life that he was supposed to be at at this time um, because of the the delay the drag he is being maneuvered to be at where he's supposed to be at um, so it's showing here that there is work that needs to needs to be done for this divine masculine things that he needs to do um he needs to step into his role and i feel it has to do with his um soul journey his independent um divine path what he is meant to do uh it has to do with His gifts, so like his skills, his knowledge, his expertise, something about what, something that is within the divine masculine, he will be using on his independent soul journey. Things that he's learned from the past, things that he has learned along the way that he has collected. It's like collecting tools along the way and now he's, he is um, equipped with a a toolbox that's what it feels like like he's collected knowledge information skills and now that he has all of these um these tools together that's going to help him um on his soul journey to do what he's meant to do at this time so it's like he caught up like to catch up catch up time for the time that was wasted because of the delay so now um i see here that because he's motivated to make that shift a positive change he's being guided to um, strate strategically maneuver his way into the position what i'm uh, visualizing is like a, 
um, a game board. It's like he was supposed to be up here and he f- he fell he fell behind. So now he's trying to strategically make his way to where he's supposed to be at this point in time. So that's what's going on here in this reading. If this divine masculine hesitates or tries to pull back, there's going to be intervention here because it shows that there's no time to be wasted. Time cannot be wasted at this moment. So if this divine masculine kind of like feels um, compelled to step away or like is hesitant to make certain um, moves, um, there's going to be a nudge from the divine. It's like, no, you need to take your spot. Don't, don't take two steps back. You need to continue to ma- maneuver your way to where you're supposed to be at. Continue to move forward, not back. So that's what I see here, that there might be some sort of divine intervention that's going to push this divine masculine forward if he chooses not to listen to his inner guidance, if he ignores the signs, the divine that is trying to provide to the divine masculine, the the intuitive knowledge, the downloads that is supposed to push him to help him elevate and grow as a divine masculine being because he has um, very important things that he needs to do before even connecting with divine feminine. So um, this is this is mostly showing that this divine masculine has to um, continue to move forward in his independent journey so that he can be a very strong I see um, up ahead, it's like he is being prepared to become a king. That's what is showing here in this reading. Right now, he's still not uh, fully matured yet, spiritually. Let's just say spiritually matured yet. He still needs to learn more. I feel like that was some. That was one part of his... Um, it's like that was one part of him that he chose not to pay attention to now he is being pushed to see what his divine purpose is he's pushed to um see what what his spiritual um journey is his path what what it entails what he is meant to do so there's no ignoring or avoiding or procrastinating here it's just that it's time now and you've taken a lot of time so now it's time for you to move forward because there's no more delays there's no time for delays here one thing i see here about divine feminine in this reading and it briefly shows that divine feminine um because you are in that energy of moving moving on the go you are continuing to grow you are continuing to um expand and and grow as a divine counterpart. You're doing what you need to do on your independent soul journey. Because you're in that energy, that a constant on the move energy, that's what I feel. Um, that movement is, is helping this divine masculine push forward as well. Divine feminine, um, whoever this divine feminine is, um, it shows here that you have a lot of you have a lot of things going on right now. There is about two two main things that you're working on, and there's two more things that are coming up ahead for you. Um, they are all connected some way or the other. Uh, these could be projects, something that you are working on, um, some sort of goal, some sort of... Um, it's hard work. Like I see a lot of work and effort that's put into it, but you're keeping um, very strong. You have you have balance here. You know that um, it is a time for you to um, to make certain decisions, and I feel like you're not losing focus. You're very focused and determined right now. So it's showing here that um, your hard work, because you are you are constantly moving, um, though it may be tough at some time, some things may feel like a little bit difficult to get through, but it's showing here that uh, keep doing what you do, uh, remain, remain in your strength, and re- remember to remain in balance, balance in all aspects of your life, because there's a lot of wish fulfillments that are coming in for you. So this is the reading for today. Um, If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you all for watching. Have a great day.
बाय एवरीवन